one place though that is just the same year after year. Had a good week this week though, and that's Parramatta Eels. They've released or, or it's, it's been released that they're looking at a certain number of coaches. Uh, a bit of a nerdy nerd moment, Terry. We don't get to do this often, but a couple of weeks ago I suggested a whole heap of coaches and all of them except John Morris made the cut, which um, which is pretty good. Not bad. Names Michael Checker is probably the, sh- the big shock. Rugby union coach um, has done an okay job with the Wallabies a few years ago. I'm not, not a big fan of that code, so I couldn't tell you too much about it. But it's a high intensity and it's a high pressure spot. Uh, Jason Riles was the one. Evidently, this is the list that they're going to interview. So for Jason Riles to turn around and, and not say no, thank you. I think that's very encouraging, and I think he's the obvious front runner. Josh Hannay was a name that I was um, surprised to see. Not, um, I thought he did okay with Cronulla when he was thrust into a very difficult situation. But there was also Trent Barrett and Michael Maguire, who, and I think Maguire should be really recommended. I think Trent Barrett's there to be nice. But the other four, I, I, like, I like where they're going. I, I think you can put Hannay to the side, so I don't think he's experienced enough. I think Trent Barrett will get the thank you for all you've done, but no thank you. Those other three, though, I don't think you can really go wrong there. Well, I, I mean, I, I can't see how you're going to brush Josh Hannay aside and say you're not experienced enough, but then turn around and go, Jason Riles is one of the coaches on the way to go, who's literally coached zero games. Yeah, but they need to get him in because I think he's the next big, he's the next Serrata on Fitzgibbon. Yeah, but that's, you know, they were saying about that about Stephen Carney as well. They were saying that about um, Garth Brennan. They were so they they've said that about a lot of assistant Richard. coaches and they, they don't always they don't always work out. And, you know, Garth Brennan was a two time New South Wales Cup coach of the year and took the wrong job up at the Titans. I get that. Andrew Johns has come out and publicly said that Parramatta will be doing the wrong thing by not interviewing Brad Fittler. No, no, no. Parramatta are doing the right thing <laughs> by not interviewing Brad Fittler. But if you do want to interview him, please hire him. Um Looking at that list now, I think, I mean, again, looking at it, I, I think the most exciting one would be to go and get Michael Checker mm. and just see what he can do in this code, right? Yep. Like, you haven't won a premiership for 32 years. Sign him to a two-year deal and see what he can do and see if he can entice Jason Riles to come on as an assistant coach or... I think I think the plunge they're going to make is going all in on Jason Riles, mm-hmm. but it was like the Walker brothers a couple of years ago when they were just playing the ad lib football and you just wanted to see one club take a punt. What's the worst that could happen? What's the what's the <laughs> what is the absolute worst that could happen if you went and got Michael Checker and it didn't work for two years? The same thing that's happened for the. 37, 31, 30, whatever <laughs> drought you're in at the moment. 50 plus years. Yeah, yeah. Look, I agree. I Look, if it was me, I'd be I'd be saying, Madge, here's your contract sign. He's got a premiership, and this is a team that can go deep into the finals. A couple of weeks ago, everyone was writing Parramatta off and saying that they sucked. And, and I jumped into that a little bit. I felt a bit guilty. It's no shock to anyone in the world that they look a completely different team when they get their superstar Origin winning halfback left back. And I cannot believe that they sack Michael Maguire and said, You can't do it. And Moses comes back and they flog the Sharks and everyone's talking up Trent Barrett like he had anything to do with anything. Now I know they did they did change a, a hopeless hooker out for a decent one and they brought Wiramu Greg back. So Barrett's made some right decisions on, on paper. But you give any coach in the world two rep quality halves. Blaze Talangi, who I think is their long-term fullback, three origin players in the four, in the middle rotation, two fringe origin players on the wide, and the wide, and Zach Lomax incoming. Anyone who doesn't make the top six or top four with this team is no good at coaching. I'd be giving it to Maguire and say win us a premiership, but I don't see any outcome other than Jason Riles saying thanks, but nah, that they don't go with Jason Riles. Yeah, if, if Jason Wiles comes out from the interview and they offer him the job and he says yes, or he leaves the job interview and says, hey, I absolutely want it, I think they'll do that. Um, but, man, 